What's up boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of Neocab. Right, it's still in the night one, we just fueled up on the last episode and we're about to collect our next passenger. Oh look at this, these are the, all the, the districts I guess. What's this A here for? Uh, Gideon de Kalb, first they ignore you and then they laugh at you, then they fight you, then you win. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Is this a person or...? Alright, so let's pick up uh, like a regular Joe as uh, Ellie Bream. Peace, love, and hello. Like, let's pick you up. Let's go. I mean, I'm really enjoying this game so far, man. The, uh, the aesthetics looks incredible. Sorry, I'm running, in I'm running to meet you, but still... Oh my god, I have to read faster. <laughs> Can you just stop at the next corner instead of the pickup zone? Okay, sure. I'm out of breath. Great. Not doing what the packs wanted could hurt my star rating, but pulling over in a AV zone would risk a stop from the LOPD. Not to mention a ticket that would set me back some serious coin. Uh... I don't know if I can afford to lose the star, but... Uh, Alright. That's... That, just this once. <laughs> Let's... Uh, stop here, I guess. It'll be quick. Couldn't risk losing the star. I pulled right up to the pin and right inside a clearly marked capper lo loading zone. My headlights hit one of their cars and it froze in that weird too fast AV way, almost like you scared it. Almost like they weren't the thing to actually be afraid of. Alright, let's go. Quick, quick, quick. Hey, sorry, can we go? Yeah. Let's go. Of course, yeah. Oh, she works for Capra. Oh my days. All right. It's cool. I glanced at her suit for a second. What was she wearing? Half my packs have those hollow space displays. But the full body thing. Barely an hour here and already Savvy was flaking and my packs was covered in weird gadgets. Welcome to Los Ojos. Yeah. What's good? Any plans tonight? Uh, I'm still tr trying. To, yeah, kind of. I don't know. I just moved in. Yeah. Look at her displays, man. That is super cool. And her, it looks like she's ready to play laser tag or something. I don't know. Uh, right. Yeah. Uh, kind of. I just moved there. My friend and soon to be roommate is being beyond flaky right now. Uh, yeah. I'm not gonna. I don't know if I should be sincere with her or. Let's not give too much of our life away to everyone we meet. You know. <laughs> And it's been interesting. I took a deep breath. Come on, Savvy. I thought you were past this. Yeah, Elo is usually pretty interesting, no matter what. Oh, wait. I gotta top up. Uh, mind if I plug in? The suit's running low. Oh, it's powered as well? God damn it. All right. My car's battery was terrible at holding a charge, but it looked like I could spare some at the moment. Uh, sure, yeah. I, just, I, need, I, need a, I need a good rating more than the charge. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Sure, happy to help. Plus, she might leave us a tip. Thanks, gotta stop forgetting to charge at every stop. Capper makes you pay extra to use the port in their cars. Of course they do. Hey, we don't nickel and dime people here at Neocab. Never let people say gig worker solidarity isn't a thing. Maybe this good deed will help me when I'm leaping along to a charging station later. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to worry about your rating with me. You used to be a Capper mate. Keep it above 4.8 stars or else. Or I it used to be. She used to be. Okay. Uh, sounds pretty strict. Uh, sounds familiar. It's four for us. Okay. So there's two different cap taxi companies, I, I would like to say. But I'm not sure if Capra is actually necessarily just a taxi company. There might be something else as well. Uh, let's, stay, uh, let's do... It's four for us. Sounds familiar. Yeah. You ever worked for Capra? I did. Never again. A lot of drivers went into Capper mates after the culling. Uh, we got pretty raw deal. So, okay, so our yellow, um, our bracelet there is displaying yellow, so I guess we could choose this option, because we're in the yellow state, so we're pretty cool with that. Yeah, we got pretty raw deal. Capper just patched our cars over the air. I was right at the beginning of the shift. I booted up, but the wheel was locked, then it drove me home. Seriously? I would have freaked. 
So wait, sorry, one second. How long have you been driving for Nioka? It's so funny when packs try to pretend they didn't just zone out into their hold space for a second. Almost two years. But I like it. Moving on though, what's your opinion of Neocab, the company? Was I missing something about these questions and how honest did, how honest did she expect me to be? Uh, I don't know if I, I don't know if which one of these are a lie, but I guess we're happy with our job at the current state. So I'm just gonna go and say it's great. <laughs> oh, hey, did you see the sign we just drove past? That's like the best ban me in town. The words went straight to my stomach. I hadn't stopped to eat all night. Oh, do they have pork floss? Pork floss? What the hell is that? Do they have vegan pate? Uh, do they have neo crab? Obviously, being a vegan myself, <laughs> I'm not gonna pick uh, pork or crab. Sorry <laughs> if I upset anyone. Do you have any vegan pate? No, but they do. This machine spun soy protein fiber or something. It's like uh, umami cotton candy. So hey, that actually sounds good. <laughs> Would you say your opinions on Sophie's Law are mostly positive and negative? What are these questions, man? Like, this looks like a, a, an interrogation, and they're all, all out of the blue. Like, none of them correlate, correlate with each other. And she seems like she she isn't even trying to acknowledge our answers she just like jumps straight into the next question a bit dismissive but uh, all right anyways um uh, sophie's law i have no idea what that is i've <laughs> seen the movie yet <laughs> that was, wait that was sophie's choice never mind that <laughs> remind me of what that is sorry that's a dumb question why would a neocab driver be for something that bans all non-automated cars oh uh, okay wait what so a few weeks ago, this famous ballet dancer died in a car attack. A car attack? What the hell is a car attack? People were just out having a good time and this guy drove straight into a crowd. Oh, okay, alright. Sophie and like 15 other people were killed. That's awful. Who was the driver? Nobody knows. They never released his name, or else... I don't know, some people think it was all planned to get this law to happen. Anyway, the vote is in a few days, so it's all blown over soon. It'll all be over. Blow over? If the law passed, it looked like I'd be out of a job. Yeah. A capper buzzed, me, buzzed by me. Of course, make human drivers illegal, and how else would people get around in the city? So, I know it's dumb, but I just need a clear answer. Here, I'll repeat the question. Would you say your opinions on Sophie's laws are mostly positive or negative? Wait a second. Is she reading these off some kind of script? Yeah, she looks like she's... Is she collecting data on us? Is she doing like a little, uh, what they call, a uh, survey or something? Hmm, I'm not sure if I feel comfortable with that. Uh, we're feeling a bit reddish. So what's up with all these questions? Yeah, let's go straight through it. Oh, right, you're new in town. I do surveillance for Capra. Surveillance? Yeah, like surveillance is from above. Surveillance is from below. Oh, surveillance. <laughs> is, that, is that French? Yeah. It sounded very... Uh, it's spelled weirdly for me, but I, I don't know. Sometimes... Uh, Anyways, <laughs> uh, is that French? They must be because Sue is below, right? In French. It's Capra speak to me. I don't really get it either. Every time I say it, it sounds like I'm getting called out for being short. <laughs> okay. They've got cameras and sensors all over these suits. I'm like a big sponge sucking in data from everything and sending it to Capra. So you've been recording our conversation all along. So those questions are what Capra wants to know about us, huh? Yeah, why does she need to do this? Like, don't she need? Doesn't she need permission? At least some like agreement form or something? 
We've been recording our conversation all along, no? Yeah, S yeah? Sorry, I forget I'm even doing it. Right. It's just always tracking. Ambient radiation, my own vitals. If there's an off-the-shelf sensor for it, I'm probably wear wearing it. But those questions are what Capra wants to know about us, huh? They let us chat a little bit, but yeah, it's their questionnaire. Like opposition research stuff, I feel my quota. I'm really sorry, I just assume everyone I talk to knows. So I've been talking to Capra this whole time. About me. About the job I scraped together when they fired me. I felt my shoulders tighten and dug my nails into the wheel. All the Capras snaking through the lanes suddenly came into focus like a swarm, like I was surrounded. Ooh. Let's try to breathe. Remember to try to breathe. I tried to breathe. Sorry, but what the hell? <laughs> I gotta say, I wish I'd gotten some warning. Yeah, to be fair, yeah. Uh, we're pretty close to the edge here on the red bit. Uh, we need to calm down. <laughs> I gotta say... Oh no, that doesn't... does not look good. He was stating... staring, sorry, right at my wrist. My field grid was blazing red. Let me switch this damn thing off. Did you do that? I just did. I should have realized when you said it your first night in LO. All this stuff is normal to me. We're so focused on our metrics. It's a terrible introduction, but... Welcome to Los Ojos. We got great food and shitty panopticon. What's panopticon, I wonder? Uh, won't you get in trouble for shutting it off? Uh, or she needs to be working right now? I mean, uh, I don't know. Let's ask this one. I might. But it's not worth making you miserable, you feel? That's awfully nice of her. She was quiet for the first time. I could feel her relaxing now that the suit had gone dark. Ellie flashed a smile at me, and I could finally see her face. Anyways, I love your hair. I cut mine short like that once. I miss it. Uh, your hair looks pretty short to me still, but okay. In these hits, I just want to shave it all off, but that's a whole look, you know? Am I babbling? It's been too long since I've talked to someone real. Ever since I took this job, it's like I'm just a passenger in this suit. You know what I mean? Kappa, Kappa does the talking, and I'm along for the rides. I got that when I was driving for Kappa too, yeah. Oh boy, it's worth... I'm glad I got out of Kappa. Okay. Uh, yeah, I get that, yeah. I still have the keys somewhere. I might bury them in the desert, yeah. Definitely, I <laughs> should like that. Alright, we're cool, we've gone all the way to the right hand side, we're feeling extra positive, that's cool. I pulled up to a shopping center, skyscrapers on one side, shit. Hey, Ali. Thanks again for switching off, don't give up, you'll find something better. Oh, poor thing, alright. Uh, let's be hopeful. Yeah, gotta say, gotta stay on your own, uh, on your hustle, right? Thanks for not kicking me out of your car. Thanks for hearing me out. Uh, never let them say gig worker solidarity isn't a thing, right? Damn right. Sweet. I'll hit you up if I need a real human again. Good luck in Los Ojos. I watched the suit blink back to life as she vanished into a crowd of shoppers. Looked like Capra could find their way into my car, no matter what. Even though, even through a sweetheart like Ali. Alright. Cool, that was our first passenger, I mean, uh, second passenger, to be fair. Ride complete, we got another 5 star rating. Gig folk gotta stick together. Cool. Till no tips, I guess, I don't know. Yeah. No, I guess we got a little bit of a tip. So we're now in Liberty Heights. Cool. So we check the map again? See what's happening? Oh, I guess not. Hold on. Let me, before I do this, uh, let me check here. Auto advanced text. I'm gonna take this off so I can read it properly every time. 
As I turned the corner I slowed the car, a throng of people had gathered in the desert. They surrounded an empty capra car in a messy circle. They were yelling, barking things at each other, and at the car- what? what? The autocar made dozens of tiny rapid-fire turns, tried to free itself from the circle. I thought of a moth trapped between window panes. Then another sound. Was that my back door? What the hell? What's going on here? What the hell? I need to get out of here. I I need you to go, I'll pay. What the? Listen, I'll explain, but we need to go. You're a Neo Cab, right? I'm... You drive people. We need to go. I can't be here. You feel grid state colors... It, you, colors your choices, sometimes adding new options and sometimes disabling them. Uh... All right, work for me for a bit. I, mean, I guess it looks like he's in a bit of a trouble, so I'm just gonna go and help him. Because we're uh, nice like that, I guess. He could be running for the police or something for all I know, but... Uh, all right, let's go. I gritted my teeth. I was way too angry. Okay. All right. I guess we're going... No. Let's just take a breathe, okay? My pulse raced in my ears so loud that I couldn't think straight. No, I guess we're really yelling at him. What the hell are you doing in my car? You want a ride? You go through Neocab. You just... You don't just open my door without asking. Look, I'm sorry, seriously, but that's my fucking bike under the wheels of that capper, okay? I nearly died, and if we don't get out of here now, the cops will be here and my life actually... will actually be over. I can explain everything, but first, you need to put some distance in between us and that mob. Uh, you know what? No. Oh my god, are we still in the reds? Because I actually want to help him now. Uh, okay, we're getting out of here and then we're exp you're explaining everything. I clenched my hands on the wheel, no way I was going- I was letting anything slide right now. Oh god. I guess we have no choice. Heat flared into my face, I was sick and tired of being pushed around. Oh god. Right? No, I definitely can't. Alright, so guess what? <laughs> no. If the cops are coming, that's your issue. And stop telling me what to do from the backseat of my own car. I let the silence and the tension fill the space. The packs looked so scared, the mob outside was getting worse, and did I really want to deal with LOPD right now? Hey, hey, you've got panic eyes, I see you. Do you see me? I can usually get read on the person the first time I see their face. Savvy called it my truth download, not like she ever listened when it was about someone she wanted to date. But I needed to be calm and to, to be calm to hear that little voice inside my head and these packs had me all riled up. Ignore them and try to think. I meet their eyes in the rearview mirror. Let's let's try and look him look at him. Maybe that will calm me down or something, I don't know. And it worked. It was as clear as if they were saying it out loud. I knew they were sorry, they were safe, and they were just trying to survive. Like me. You're the sort of person who feels things really intensively, right? Well, this is an intense situation. Please, take one second to see me asking you for help and drive. I held their gaze. Alright, looks like we're cl calming down a little bit. I felt the fear evaporate. My pulse slowed. Alright, cool. There we go. They trailed off as they watched my feel grid crash from angry red into a chill green. It seemed to calm them down too. You're wearing one of those feel things, and it looks like we're cool? Choose your words and packs carefully to shift your mood into a new direction and change your story. Well, this isn't... this still isn't right, you know. Alright, we're cool. No, we're cool. We're cool. Looks like we're green again. That's good, because me and the LOPD are not. Floor it! I got us out of there in the nick of time, just as the squad cars rolled up and the bike punk scrambled into the night. I guess we can skip this one, or... yeah, okay, alright. What's your name? I'm Azul. Or oh, Azul. Ow. Why does... Why does adrenaline ever have to wear off? This shit hurts, dude. Azul actually means blue in Portuguese, <laughs> so that's a very cool coincidence. 
I'm Lena. Where are we going? Take me shits. I need to get to work. I work at this club in Luz Rouge. It's not far. It's not too far. I'm shit. Oh, ow. Are you okay? Can you at least tell me what happened back there? Uh, are you okay, actually? I'm... I'm bleeding. Oh no, can I help? Can you give me stitches and anti antibiotics? No, is it that bad? No, forget it. I'm just brattles. Thanks for asking. And don't worry, I won't mess up your car. I was thoughtful. Neocab is supposed to cover cleaning costs for things like that. But once they do, there's always a mysterious operations uh, surcharge that'll pop up in your paycheck a few days later. I got hit by a Capra. I was on my bike. Came out of nowhere, sideswiped me, then he just kept driving. Right over my fucking bike. Oh, fuck, that's not good. Be uh, being that they're supposedly automated. Uh, did you get a plate number? Shit, no, I didn't. Don't bother going back though, forget it. And all those people just showed up? No, no, I called a Radex Swarm. What the hell is a Radex Swarm? <laughs> you know who Radex is, right? Uh, no idea. We're activists, we stand up against corporation entities like Capra. Radix is all about direct action, direct action to change the city for the people. Getting rid of cars, just just the seat. What grows from that are safer streets, public transit that works, a big chunk beaten out of the luxury market. Most people just see us as punks on bikes, but most people are blind. Okay, so I guess all the cars that are currently circulating around this city are either Neo cabs or Capra cabs and everything is like a taxi system or a taxi uh, business. So there's no real there's no real people behind uh, driving like their own private cars, I guess. That's what I I am I am understanding. I don't know if that's the case, but let's just keep going with that assumption. Right, so, uh, yeah, uh, so then what's a swarm? Exactly. If you're a member of Radix and you're in trouble, like if you get hit by a fucking Capra, you send up a flare on the app to call a Radix swarm. It alerts the other members, shows them where you are, tells them you need help. So that was help, right? I guess, yeah. Doesn't seem like it did much for you if you're here with me. I just... it got crazy, I don't know. I didn't expect that. Is it your first time calling a swarm? Yeah. But it's like, I don't know, it's not supposed to be like that. What? What's it supposed to be like? I don't know. I thought they'd save me, but it was like they sh just showed up to fuck up the Capra car. Nobody tried to get my bike or whatever. One dude helped me up, but like the second I was said I was okay, I didn't matter anymore. Right, uh, Neo Cap to the rescue, I guess, yeah. <laughs> Ugh. That makes it even worse. Oh, why'd you say. You realize you got into my car, right? I mean. Why'd you say that? Because it's still a fucking car. No, wait, wait. I was saying that no one drive, drove their own private cabs, but I guess people drive their own private bikes? I don't know, maybe then people drive their own cars as well, uh, cars as well. and it's just not uh, taxi drivers out here. Hmm. Uh, you're still putting people at risk every day, plus... I mean, so are you riding your bike? Or wait, is it like a... a uh, not a motorcycle, but is it like a bicycle normal? Bicycle? Maybe. Plus... I shouldn't be riding around in a death machine in front of a bunch of Radix folks. Uh, death machine? Come on. You were injured. Uh, getting out of there was it the right idea? Yeah. Definitely. You think they saw me get in? Oh, definitely. <laughs> nah. Let's not worry the guy, I guess. They seemed pretty focused on the car. Yeah, yeah, for sure. 
Alright, let me just put the, uh, sorry about that. Just turn this music down a bit because I feel like it's too loud. Is that? Wait. Yeah, okay, that's done. Alright. Whoops. I could feel them relaxed just a little. Why do, you, why do we keep referring to him as in, like, multiple people? I don't understand, sir. Or is it his eyes that we're um, addressing here? What a fucking night. My legs killing me, my bike's gone. They're probably gonna ask me to leave Radex. Uh, they still need... Yeah, I doubt that. They still need people like you, no? I doubt that. They need people like... Yeah. People who cruise around in fucking death machines. People who call... <laughs> people who call cars fucking death machines. Yeah, exactly. That's what... <laughs> I still need activists, I guess. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Look, where I'm going, I don't want them to see me get out of your car. So can you just drop me like Corn of Guadalupe and Sanders? I'll walk the rest of the way. On that leg? It's just a scrape. I'm fine. Alright, ah, you're cool, okay, I guess, buddy. Also, neat little arm you got there. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, well, uh, well, yeah, sorry. <laughs> they leaned to look out the window. Okay, here's good. Maybe just pull into the alley? The whole block looked pretty deserted, but I still slipped into the shadows. Whatever, whatever would put their mind at ease. You don't like record this, right? That's the Neo Cab deal. Right, no camera, nothing on the app. You were never here, Azul. Okay. Well, how much do I owe you? Uh, what do you mean, no charge yet? 10 coin should cover it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, fair price, I guess. Here you go. Thanks. Listen, thanks for not kicking me out of your car. I appreciate it. But like, what you saw... No worries, I'll keep it quiet. Thanks. Uh, we didn't have we didn't have much uh, really uh, too much of a choice since uh, we had to take you in. Like the options they gave us, it wasn't really. Uh, it was only like very. It was very linear. Even though it appeared like we had a choice, it was a bit linear. Uh, anyways, shit. Wait, I didn't get your name, Lena. Cool. Thanks, Lena. I'm Azul. I said that, right? Yeah, like three times or something. You did, and you're welcome. Have a good night. Azul stepped out of the car, stumbling a bit like they couldn't put too much weight. Why they? They? It, I don't understand that. Couldn't put too much weight on their knee. Without so much as a look back, though, they shook it off and limped into the alleyway. It was, it was well after midnight, and I'd meet my ride quota. I checked my fuel grid green. On most nights, I call it quits about now, or maybe push on for one last ride, if I had it in me. But until I heard from Savi, I had nowhere to go. When was she going to text me back? Yeah, who knows. Looks like she dumped me, to be honest, to be fair. Alright, um... Making pretty good money. We're still nowhere near our daily quota. We need, uh, nine more dollars. Oh, sorry, eleven more. Uh, coins and another ride. So let's hit the map and check. Wow, well, we're all the way back here. Damn, our customers are all the way across town. What's this here? Agonon. Like three stars. What the hell? Like, so it looks like this way we lose less battery, but at the same time this dude is uh, not very well rated, so I'm not sure strategic intelligence analysts here, here there be opinions engage at own risk alright, looks like it's, this guy is a bit volatile, maybe we should go for the other one, student of the world any opinions expressed on this feed are mine and mine alone uh, looks like he's the safest bet, let's, go, let's just go for him When I arrived, Klaus was waiting with someone on the pavement. 
He gave me a blank nod and extinguished his cigarettes on the street lights. Very cool. Well, what is smoking or so effect? I have no idea what so affected. Okay. Good evening. Hello. Oh, there's two of them. Okay, cool. Were those German accents? I used to keep track of how many different accents I'd hear in the night. I hadn't heard German in ages. Hey there, how are you too? They put their hands on their knees. They weren't talking. Were they waiting for me to say something? Uh, Germany, huh? I love a German car, I used to date someone from Frankfurt. You know what your national bird is, right? Uh, what? Let's uh, say... I guess I used to date someone from Frankfurt? I don't know. Or, you know, it might have been Berlin. We were supposed to go on visits, but we never did. Same old story. You are a robot, yes? What? No, no, I'm not. No. You must tell us if you are a machine. That is the law. Uh, why do you think I'm a robot? Well, we understand that the American taxi companies are putting in... What is the word? Robot drivers? Yes, robot drivers, but in self-driving cars. Taxis. They still do not drive the car. Oh no, it is for appearances. Having a robot in the car is more comfortable for the customer, you know? More friendly, has personality. Yes, and more exciting. Self-driving cars are much more efficient, but you cannot carry out a conversation with the car. Well, you could with a car's computer, but you would have... You would be a disembodied voice. No good, sterile and unfriendly. Yes, so we hear that the companies are putting robots in the taxis. A pilot program. Do we understand correctly? Yeah, I guess, yeah, it's kind of a cool idea, I guess, yeah. It makes sense, though. So, my friend and I are having this discussion. We think you are one of these robots. Do I look like a robot to you? Well, yes, in some ways. No, you kind of look like a robot to me, buddy. All right. <laughs> Take it easy when you're words there. For instance, and this is not a personal comment, but your face is very... Buddy, I I'm warning you. Simplistic? What the fuck? <laughs> yes, exactly. A human being has blemishes. You have no visible moles or freckles, no stray hairs. Overall, your face has this very neutral... Yes, neutral effects. I kind of... I understand where you're coming from, but uh, I suggest you don't. <laughs> if I saw you in the street, I would not notice you. Oh, that's so kind of you. Thank you for those kind words, man. You would be like an ATM to me. Oh, cool. Nice. And this is how you would design the customer service robots. To calm the customer, to put them at ease, like sedative. Deep breath, Selena. Uh-huh. Well, I'm not a robot. Uh, wait, do, you, do I act like a robot to you? Very much so. <laughs> what the fuck? You recognize that Klaus accent was German, and so you told us what you know about Germany. You initiated a helpful and informative conversation based on available data. You demonstrated basic pattern recognition. Or basic politeness. Yeah. Didn't see that one coming, did you, boys? Well... Uh, if I was a robot, do you think I'd tell you? Just kidding. I actually am human, folks. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Seriously? You claim to be human? No, I am human. Then you will not object to proving it? The Higgs, Gary? Yes, the Higgs Gary. So is this some kind of a testing? Like, uh, what was that? Uh, what was the other one? Oh man, the personality to test if it was a robot or a machine. I forget now. Anyways. It is a verbal test. Simply a few questions. Revealing questions. Uh, couldn't I just bleed on you? Yeah. Oh, sneeze. Yeah, that's pretty cool, yeah. 
Good night, just needs a better, better uh, choice. That is no test. No, mucus can be synthesized. Okay, alright, you got me there, alright. Humanity, cannot. Really, the Higgs Gary is the most appropriate test. The, the Higgs Gary tests humanity, not knowledge. A robot intelligence can recite all of human knowledge, but that does not mean it is human. A human is messy, emotional, complicated, beautiful. Man, I do have the freaking ring attached to me, the bracelet, so you can see my emotions. I mean, uh, isn't that human enough for you, boys? A robot is optimized and efficient. It, it is what a human can never be. No. Let us begin. All right. What? Yeah, let's go then, boys. Let's go. Your aunt makes a racist comment at your birthday party. Uh, I'd be mortified. You met your favorite artist. You tell him his early work is much better than what he produces now. Why did you do that? Uh, it's good to be honest. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, I would definitely not. I wouldn't do that. It's so impolite. But you have. Why? Uh, I guess I wanted to hurt his feelings. A homeless man picks your pockets. Uh, I would call the police. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, can't be just going around and pickpocketing people. You have a young son. He asks to see your breasts. What? Jesus, what the fuck, guys? I would be... I would politely but firmly explain the concept of boundaries. Yeah. Your pet pig eats your friend's best dress. She wants to watch your discipline. It's... Alright. How long have I had this pig? <laughs> it doesn't affect the test. Please answer the question. Alright, okay, alright, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I would discipline the pig in my own time and in my own way. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's my pig, not hers. After intercourse? <laughs> okay. Your husband tells you he would kill a man to protect you. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> I guess. He tells you that he has already killed the dog. Oh, that's creepy, though. He tells you that he killed the dog three hours ago. Oh, that's even worse. He tells you that you knew this dog. Oh my god. Uh, was this... Was it Higgs or Gary who was obsessed with sex? Uh, my husband clearly needed help, yeah, definitely. We'd work on his problems together. Your best friend has an affair with your son. They ask you to pay it for the abs uh, abortion. Oh my days, what the fuck are these questions, dude? Uh... Is this a Simpson that wants to grab my boob? It doesn't affect the test. Just answer the question. Okay, alright, yeah, yeah, I'll answer it. Alright, buddy. Uh... Oh my god, I don't know. I mean, my friend would be an adult, right? I wouldn't have, like... Fr I wouldn't be friends with uh, my son's... Uh, with people of my son's age, right? So, I guess... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'd agree to that, but I tried to help them in some other way. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> Your father sends you worms in the mail. One of the worms is still clings to life. Kill, save the worm? Yeah. Mm. Save the worm. Well, that is the end of the test. And perfect timing, too. We'd arrive at a club in Liberty Heights, The Haunts. It was hard to say whether the decor was ghost-themed or just black. Well, how did I do? Is that important? We really do have to go. Oh wait, you made me take the test to the end. And now you won't even tell me how I did? What do you think? To be honest, I am finding it quite hard to be certain. Well, <laughs> me as well, yeah. Where where had I gone wrong in my life that people weren't sh even sure whether I was human? Are you kidding me? 
Either she is an incredible robot or a below average human. Yes. <laughs> At least these guys are so mean. But it is possible to be sure. Alright. You've had your fun, okay? Would you still sneeze on us as you'd offer thought? <laughs> what the fuck, man? No, the moment has passed. <laughs> okay. Uh, we should, uh... On the other side of her being a robot. Agreed. Your test is, is absurd, yeah. There were definitely moments that made me wish I were a robot. Not someone desperately trying to lose lose it in front of her packs. Do we have to pay the fare even though we're determined that you're a robot? Yes. Fucking rude. She do doesn't deny being a robot. Yes, I noticed that as well. There was a line for the haunts stretching right around the block. Klaus and Marek disappeared to join it. I'll never get what makes people wait in lines that long for a drink. But what do I know? I'm just a robot. Yeah. And now we hardly have any battery to go anywhere else. Hopefully the club isn't too far off. Yeah. Oh, at least we gave uh, a marvel of modern engineering. Thanks, guys. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. All right. I'm going to take a quick break right here and I'll catch you all in the next episode. Thank you guys so much. Bye bye.